Breaking news, President Muhammadu Buhari visited his injured son at Sidak Arrest Hospital again. President Buhari visited his son who was receiving treatment at Sidak Arrest Hospital after a motorbike accident in Abuja. But the security situation around the hospital remained tense, as policemen screened those gaining entry into the medical facility. A guard near the hospital told one of our correspondents that the first lady was believed to have slept overnight till Friday. The dignitaries have not stopped coming. We see luxury cars every 10 minutes, we see police escorts, I can't mention everyone who has visited today. But the wife of the president slept in the hospital. She is still with the injured son, the guard who pleaded anonymity, said. It was learned that Yusuf's friend, Bashir Gwandu, was also at the intensive care unit of the Cedar Crest Hospital, Abuja. The president's son had collided with Gwanda during a motorbike race on Tuesday night in Abuja. Yusuf's younger sister, Hainan, said her brother was doing well. Hainan, in a message on INS Diagram, stated, Yusuf is doing well. Alhamdulillahi. Thank you for all the messages. Meanwhile, the presidency on Friday denied a report that the president's wife, Aisha, had been admitted to the hospital, where her son was being treated. It stated that there was no truth in the news that Aisha suffered shock after she was told about the motorbike accident involving Yusuf. I have not been briefed about that, the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Gabra Shihua, simply said on the telephone when contacted. But the director of information in the office of the president's wife, Suleiman Harana, was emphatic that nothing of such happened. There is absolutely nothing like that. People can be so wicked in their thinking. Since her son is in the hospital, is there anything wrong with her being with her son? The news is false, there is nothing wrong with her, Harana said. Boari on Friday joined Muslim faithful to pray for the quick recovery of his son. The prayer session formed part of the Jamaat prayers held in a mosque at the presidential villa, Abuja. Government officials who participated in the session alongside the president were the Nasarawa state governor, Tanko al Makara, Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, and the group managing director, Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Dr. Makanti Baru. The prayer was led by the chief imam of Aso Rock Mosque, Sheikh Abdul Wahid Suleiman. Others in the prayer session were presidential aides, villa staff, among others. Suleiman urged the first family to accept the tragedy in good faith. He prayed for God's guidance and protection of the first family and all Nigerians. The clergyman also prayed for peace and tranquility in the country. A similar prayer session was held on Thursday in the same mosque. Also, the Oyo state governor, Senator Abiola Ajimobi, on Friday urged Nigerians to pray for the quick recovery of Buhari's son. A statement by the governor's special advisor, Communication and Strategy, Mr. Yomi Lenka, quoted the governor as describing the unfortunate incident as depressing. Ajimobi stated, The abiding grace of God that allowed the ebullient young man to survive the crash will see to his quick and complete recovery. It is indeed heartwarming to hear that he is in a stable condition now and responding well to treatment. On behalf of the government and people of Oyo State, I pray that Yusuf will soon be back on his feet. The incident is a temporary setback and one of the vicissitudes of life. He will come out of it stronger and will live long to fulfill his destiny. In the African culture of being our brother's keeper, I urge Nigerians to continue to remember the first family in their prayers and thoughts in this difficult period. Thanks for watching World Breaking News.